let's start growing our grapes by adding a custom crop block to the game. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom crop block to the game, and this will involve a lot of JSON files, so I highly recommend going down in the description below, GitHub repository, and individual gists as well. Everything is available to you, so the entire code is there, because there is going to be quite a lot. So first things first, we're actually going to need a new custom item class, and this is due to having to specify the seeds item for our custom crop block. So in the custom package, we're going to right click new Java class called the grapevine block. There you go. And this is going to extend the crop block class. Now we're going to hover over this and create constructor matching super. And then we will middle mouse button click on the crop block class to actually see what this well entails. And it actually entails quite a few things. Most importantly, we have this integer property called age, and this is set to integer or properties age seven. So this is a already defined integer property. Basically, it makes it so that the age goes from zero all the way to seven. So it's zero to seven inclusive. And we also have something like the max age right here. So those are very important variables and methods. If you want a crop that is not of age seven, so maybe other ages, I can middle mouse button click on this property class, and I should be able to find so if I press control F, and then just search for age here, you can see there are some ages already defined 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 15, and 25. And this is basically how they're defined. So it's just adding a new integer property. This is of course, something that you can also do manually in your block. So we've seen this previously in the block states properties tutorial. And this is pretty much just how you would add a integer property. And the idea here is just that the minimum is zero, maximum is seven. If you want a different one, you're going to have to change this. So we're not going to have to change anything because in our case, the grapevine block here is actually of H7 as well. So we don't have to change anything here. What we do have to change is we have to make this public and then we have to overwrite the get seeds item method right here. Now for the time being, we're going to stick with this. Actually, we're not going to stick with this. We're actually going to make an error appear because otherwise I might forget to add the seeds in here and I don't want to forget this. So we're going to just keep it and then after we've added the seeds, we're going to be able to then return them here. But that is basically the most important thing for the crop block here when we're extending it is that we have this age property which determines number one, the shape, and number two also, which we're going to see later in the block states JSON file, also going to determine, of course, the model and th with that the actual texture of the block. So then let's go to the mod blocks class and let's create our new block. We're just going to copy over the winter window and this is going to be the grape underscore vine. And of course, same here, grape underscore vine. Now what's very important is that we don't want to call the register block method. We actually want to call the register block without block item method once more. So we're going to just choose this one simply because of the fact that in this case, we want to choose this because we are not going to be able to put this, you know, grapevine down as a block. We're always going to have to use the actual seeds item. So we're going to do grapevine block here, and then we're going to copy from wheat just so that we have this. There you go. The strength is actually not important, but we do want the non opaque right here. And that is pretty much all that we need to do here. And then we can make a seed item as well. So in the mod items class, we're now also going to make the seed item. And that is going to be the very bottom. We're just going to copy over the data tablet. This is going to be the grape underscore seeds. And of course, once again, the name here, grape underscore seeds. There you go. And this is going to be a aliased, uh, aliased uh, block item. There you go. And the first parameter here it takes is a block, of course. So we're going to say mod blocks dot grape vine. And then the rest here is fine. Just making sure that we don't have a max count. And then we can just keep it like this. There you go. So the alias block item, why do we choose this? Well, because the block item actually has a different name, in this case, grape underscore seeds. And the grape vine, of course, the name here is grape vine. So this is why it's an alias block item. You can also choose the block item works totally fine as well. Um, so instead of having the alias block item here, you could also do a block item. This would just change what you have to translate this item as. So that's just 
pretty much all that there is to it. Highly recommend playing around with this as well if you want to try some stuff out. And then we can go to the grape vine block and we can return mod items dot grape seeds. And then this class is done. The mod blocks class is done. The mod items are done. Now what we still have to do is we of course still have to set the render layer properly. So in our tutorial client mod, we're just gonna d duplicate this with control D and then we're gonna say the grapevine right here. And this is of course, in this case, cut out. So we're gonna actually say get cut out. There you go. And then this is done as well. And that should pretty much be all of the code that we need. So in terms of code, especially if you have an item or a, in this case, a crop that has H that is already defined, it's actually pretty straightforward. Now the JSON files, those are going to be quite the thing, to be honest, once again, and I will of course copy those over, but no worries. All of this is available to you once again in the description below GitHub repository in individual gists as well. Let's start with the block states JSON file. And this should pretty much be sort of understandable in a lot of ways. Of course, we have an H property, right? And this can take on zero through seven, both inclusive. And here you can see it just points to the grapevine zero all the way to seven in terms of a block model. So this is why we're gonna have eight different block model JSON files. First of all, before we actually copy those over, let's first of all do the translation. So this is gonna be number one, the grape seeds. So this is actually the only thing that we really necessarily need. So we only need the grape seeds as an item, right? This is the one that we definitely need. And then I recommend you are also going to add the grape seeds or the grape vine as a block. So we're going to do block tutorial mod and then grape underscore vine. And this is of course going to be the grape vine. You can also call it grape vine crop or just grape vine. That's fine. And this is because this can might be shown if you have something like, what am I looking at the mod? then when you're hovering over a certain block, then it's going to show the name of the block. And if this is not translated, then it's going to show block.tutorialmod grape underscore vine. Of course, it's very easy to add. However, still something to keep in mind. And then let's go on to the block model files. And like I said, those are going to be eight of them that we're going to copy over. So this is going to be zero through seven. Now they are all pretty much the same thing. The parent is Minecraft block crop, very important as well. And then the textures are crop. And then it just points to a texture in the block extras folder. And all of the others are literally the same, just the number is changed. So nothing too crazy going on here. And then let's get the item model for the grape seeds, of course. There you go. That's just a normal item model. Nothing interesting going on here, to be honest. Then let's also copy over the extras. And there you go. So the block textures, first of all, and then secondly, the grape seeds texture, there you go. And that is pretty much the bulk of the th stuff that we need. Now there's one more thing that I want to basically get your attention onto, and that is the loot table. Now, once again, of course, I highly recommend going into the external libraries down here and then going to this one right here in Minecraft project and so on and so forth. And we're going to expand this, go to data, Minecraft, root tables, blocks, and then we can search for wheat, for example. If we open this, this is the wheat loot table. I highly recommend, for example, just copying this one over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select this control C to copy it. And then we're just going to zoom up right here to the data folder, tutorial mod, loot tables, blocks, and then we're going to paste it in control V. And we're going to say this is the grape underscore vine. There you go. And then we just need to change some stuff. Now, what's very important is that if you have a property that is different, so the age is different, this always has to be your max age. Because obviously, in this case, wheat only drops when it is fully grown. And that is the case when the age property has reached a value seven. So this is important that you change this if you have a different age. If you don't have a different age, you can just keep it. And we can just change this to tutorial mod grape underscore vine. There you go. And then this is the this actually is going to drop tutorial mod grape. There you go. And then this is going to drop tutorial mod grape underscore seeds. We also have to go down here for the seeds again. So we're just going to copy this selected control C control V. And then here we want the block again. So grape underscore vine in this case. Let's hope that everything here has been done correctly. This is of course also available to you in the description below. However, I highly recommend 
going to the external libraries and copying over stuff from here. That is always a alternative that is available to you. Highly recommend, cannot recommend it enough, basically. And that should be pretty much all that we need to do. In this case, now it's going to drop exactly like wheat. And that is actually all of the stuff that we need to do to add the actual crop block to the game. So I guess let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the grape seeds have been added. So let's put them down. Let's put a water down and then just some area hold here. And there you go. So we can plant them. That's a great sign. What we can also try is when you middle mouse button click on the block, then what you should get is the, well, the actual block item for it. So if you do this on a block, you were just going to get the block added to your inventory. And if you do this on the crop block, then you're going to get the seeds. So this is exactly right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to just do the game rule and I'm going to say random tick speed. I'm just going to increase it to 2000. Just see them grow. And there you are. They're growing. That's great. And then let's actually also try to bone meal them. This should, of course, just it should just work. There you go. And it does work. That's pretty good. And then when we break them, we have to, of course, be in survival mode and they drop pretty much exactly how you would expect them to. Then I can put new grape seeds in and all of this starts over. And now we have some tasty grapes. And there you go. That's how easy it can be. Add a custom crop block to Minecraft. Right, as you can see, it's actually not that crazy. The most difficult thing really is if you have a crop block that has a different max age than the crop blocks that are already added in game, then of course it's going to be a little more difficult. But once again, of course, you can always take a look at the vanilla crop block just change all of the stuff that you need to change. Most of this, pretty much, you don't even need to change. Most of this can stay pretty much the same. Otherwise, this is already it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate it. Like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And special golden thanks go out to MC Arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.